The coronavirus pandemic has placed a tremendous stress on the U.S. healthcare system. Most recently, surgical masks and N95 respirators have been reported being in short supply. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, allows for extended use and reuse of N95 respirators. But are you knowledgeable about the procedures for safe reuse? My name is Dr. Jack Caravanos, and I'm clinical professor at New York University's School of Global Public Health. I'm here with my colleague, Dr. Bill Southern, president of the New York City-based environmental health firm, Microecologies. What we'd like to share with you is how to safely reuse N95 respirators during the coronavirus pandemic. There are many masks out there, but we'll focus on the CDC NIOSH approved N95 respirator. So let's go over unpacking the N95, putting it on, taking a drink, taking it off, and also storing it. So the first thing you'll notice is that Bill has gloves on. He'll later wash his hands or use hand sanitizer, do this for 20 seconds, reach in and grab the N95 respirator using the straps. Pull it out, you may want to stretch the straps a little, and then put the bottom strap around your neck, notice how it's not touching his head, and put the cup of the respirator into your chin and the straps, the top strap over the crown of your head. He's going to pinch the nose piece to make sure it fits and cover the mask and blow out to see if there's any leakage. Usually this would be near the nose. This is called a positive fit check. Next he's going to hand sanitize, again 20 second process, and then proceed to go to work. Now let's say he's thirsty. Well he comes in and the first thing you do of course is hand sanitize again, 20 seconds, and then get your bottle of water or whatever you're drinking ready, undo the cap, lift the top strap, pull it away from your face, lift the mask and pull it away from your face and take a drink. Notice the respirator is not touching his clothing or and is far away from his face. He'll then put it back on, readjust the straps, pinch the nose clip if he has to, do another positive air check to make sure there's no leakage, and then proceed to go to work. Of course, always hand sanitize whenever you touch the respirator. And off he goes. Now, taking it off and storing it is a similar process. He's going to come in, immediately hand sanitize, as always. He's going to reach back and grab the bottom strap and pull it away from his face. Notice the respirator stays on his face. He's going to pull that strap out away from his face and then take the top strap and carefully keep the straps on the outside of the mask. Depending how you're going to sterilize it, you could either put it in a paper bag or a plastic bag and now it's ready for disinfecting or sterilization. And of course, the last thing to do is to take the gloves. Notice how he pinches the glove out, pulls it inside out, and puts one glove inside the other, the contaminated side always being on the inside. And of course, properly disposing of it in the appropriate container. Lastly, a final hand sanitation, and he's all done. Thanks a lot, Bill. Reuse refers to the practice of using the same N95 respirator for multiple encounters with patients, but removing it after each encounter. The respirator is stored in between encounters to be put on again prior to the next encounter with a patient. Unfortunately, respirators are often routinely handed out to workers without a clear policy or set of rules. As health and safety professionals, we must remind you that their use, according to OSHA, should be part of a written respiratory protection program. Lastly, here are some do's and don'ts regarding reuse. Please discard respirators contaminated with blood and nasal secretions. Where possible, try to wear a cleanable plastic face shield in addition to the respirator. Always avoid touching the inside of a respirator. And lastly, use hand sanitizer before and after handling your respirator. So what about reusing respirators? Well, because there's microbial contamination on them, 
they usually must be disinfected or even sterilized before they're reused. There are three common methods for doing this. The first is hydrogen peroxide vaporization. Then there's UVC germicidal irradiation. And next, hot moist heat seems to inactivate the virus. Use these internet search terms to find information about this if you're interested. Again, it's a developing science. Well, we want to thank you for your attention, and Bill and I want to remind you to work safe and work smart.